<sighs> okay. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not addressing every single person who works at a pet store. In fact, the manager I worked under when I was working at a pet store knew more than I did, way more than I did, when it came to fish and plants. I hope one day that I can be as good as that manager. So yeah, I don't even think the majority of people working in a pet store are being addressed in this video. But if this sounds like you, or if this sounds like a coworker you have, they gotta see this. I get these DMs, these kind of DMs, quite often. It's uh, it's usually someone. It's usually someone coming to me with a story of a bad experience they had at a pet store. Usually, not always, but usually, one of the large chain pet stores. This one's sent in by Jaden Chow, and it goes something like this: Hi, Chris. I have a story to tell you. I went to to return a betta that I bought that had dropsy, and when I got to the register there. There was a girl holding a betta cup, and she looks up and almost drops it. But anyways, I hand her the dead fish, and I say, I would like to return this fish. Her. Why? How did it die? Me. It had dropsy. Her. Okay. Why is the water brown? Me. Indian almond leaves. Her. Why would you put almond leaves in your tank? Me. Um, because it's natural? Her. We recommend you use betta buddies. And get your water tested. It shouldn't look like that. Just wondering what you would have done. Okay. Now, relatively speaking, I have received way harsher stories than this, and I have received way worse pictures of just disgusting, outright animal abuse fish tanks. So why am I so triggered by this story? It seems tame. Nobody even swore because I find this super annoying. I find that someone who doesn't know anything. And tries to teach someone else something that they know more. That's just infuriating and excruciatingly painful to me. This girl works at a pet store that sells betta fish, sells the merchandise that she does not know how to take care of. And when we're talking merchandise here, it's not a pair of shoes. And by the way, if you don't know how to take care of a pair of shoes, you probably shouldn't be working at Adidas or something like that. How much more important is it to take care of merchandise that? Is living that shouldn't even be called merchandise. A fish is a living thing, living, breathing creature that needs you to take care of it and needs you to know exactly how. And it doesn't take rocket science or a degree to learn that、uh, almond leaves are good and the tannins it releases, the blackwater biotope environment that it creates, is a natural habitat for betta fish.、It、is very beneficial for the betta fish's health. Probably made. Jaden's betta fish live a little longer. Why did you sell a betta fish that had dropsy in the first place? If you didn't even know that almond leaves are good for betta fish, you sure as heck do not know how to identify dropsy. The most annoying thing by far is when she says, "Get your water tested. It shouldn't look like that." Why shouldn't it look like that? Blackwater biotopes are the most healthiest versions of a biotope you can keep a betta in. Why in the world would it not look like that? So my response to Jaden when he asked, just wondering what you would have done,、um, and I said I would not bother with her.、It、saves me more time and energy to ignore her and get the return done. Maybe at the end you can suggest that she does some research about natural betta environments and blackwater biotopes. She works at a pet store that sells bettas after all. Infuriating. Why I wouldn't suggest that Jaden goes on a full debate and discussion with her at that moment is because those are never productive. People more than likely take that as some kind of confrontation and starts to defend their own point right away. If you plant the seed in their head that maybe they should do more research, they might actually get to it at some point. You know, when they're randomly at home scrolling on Google or YouTube, maybe they decide, "Hey, what are almond leaves?" and maybe.、Uh, I will look into something like this in the comfort of their own home, when there's no embarrassment for them if they were wrong, and then that in turn might actually turn them into someone who now says, "Hey, I recommend almond leaves for your betta fish tank." Sure, they won't admit how they knew or where that information came from originally, but at least they will start contributing. Of course, a very close-minded person would never Google search it and would just keep. Preaching that almond leaves are not supposed to be in betta tanks. Can't do anything about that. Maybe pray for them. Anyways, I know that the majority of you watching are not someone like that. Even if you work at a pet store, you are not someone like that lady. But chances are there might be one or two, or maybe even a few more people who are like that that will chance upon this video. If you are, please do your research 
on the live animals that you are selling. If you are working cashier, because I remember my shifts back, back in my pet store days, if I was in cashier, my managers made sure that I am not talking pet care. If a customer comes up to me for pet care, as much as I want to give information, I'm going to direct them into pet care. That's because not all cashiers know pet care. So if you are doing cashier that day, and if you are a regular cashier at the pet store where you work, and you're not equipped with knowledge, pass it on. Don't pretend like you know. Anyway, I didn't want to turn this into a rant, but I just had enough of these DMs. Not saying that you guys should stop DMing me about it, but I felt, I really felt like I this needed to be said, okay? And please, if you do have someone, you do have a coworker or friend like this, don't go aggressive on them, just send them this video. Maybe at worst, they'll get angry at me and not you. Maybe send them an anonymous link. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this little rant of mine, if it rang true to you, give it a like and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.